Hello everyone, Dead Poodles here, and today I have a video a long time in the making. My War Mode Division setups. I will be showcasing my three main setups that get me through almost any situation I find myself in when running War Mode. This includes a fast paced class for early rushing, a more conservative rifleman class to push objectives, and a support class that is a mix of both. Great for holding off tanks for the win. So let's capture this command post so we can get right into the gear setup. First up we have a class I'm calling the Recon Setup. Running the Airborne Division with your choice of SMG, Extended Mags and Rapid Fire for attachments, a pistol with your choice of attachment, I prefer high caliber rounds, a smoke grenade, which is extremely important for war mode, and the espionage basic training. Marking enemies on your minimap, so if you don't get the kill, your teammates have a better chance of taking the objective point. This class works great for early game rushing on any map, catching most teams completely off guard. Next up is my assault class with rifleman basic training. Your choice of rifle with a reflex sight, grip, and advanced rifling. Secondary is not as important here because of the bayonet, but anything will work. A frag grenade, and the hunker basic training, which grants an early warning indicator for grenades and resets the fuse when throwing them back. This class works great for pushing objectives, when you need to get your tank across the line or demolish an ammo dump. Last up is my support class which I have two variations of. Running the armored division with your choice of light machine gun, a grip and full metal jackets for attachments, a satchel charge for taking out clusters of enemies, and as for secondary, depending on the map, I will either go with a melee weapon and energetic basic training, or launched with a panzer shrek. This class works great for holding down an area, preventing enemy tanks from passing, or defending an objective point. With the recon set up, you want to use your smoke grenades as soon as possible. Laying down cover for both you and your team, and allowing you to push to the objective quickly. Once there, try to hit as many players as possible over just getting kills. Marking them with espionage can be more effective preventing them from ambushing other teammates pushing for a rush. When in a tight spot, an SMG with extended mags and rapid fire can bring an unrelenting amount of firepower to bear quickly, allowing you to hold your position that much longer. This setup works great for any war mode map type, but really shines on Operation Griffin, as both the attacking and defending sides can make good use of smoke grenades early on. Next up is the Assault class. The thing to remember when running this is that the objectives that it's meant for will probably be a storm of bullets and grenades, so don't let dying get you discouraged. This setup has a good mix of long and close range options, and when being pushed up against, the bayonet can stop teams dead in their tracks. This setup works great for escorting tanks across the front line or taking out objectives like the communications room on Neptune or the ammo dump on Breakout. With the support setup, you want to mix things up between all ranges, depending on your position and what you are trying to defend against. When trying to stop a tank from advancing, this class works great for standing right in front of it and pushing enemies back with satchel charges and the shovel. Finding a place to deploy your bipod can also lock an area down for a short period of time, giving your team the advantage. On maps like Breakout, when defending against the allied tank, I like to switch things up and run launched with a Panzer Shrek, as that map has more distance in between the two opposing sides, and this setup works great for holding the bridge there as well. That's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. New class setups drop every Monday, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. 
follow me on Twitter at DPS United for more news and game related content. And I would like to give a shout out to Darian Bunch Vlogs, another small YouTuber with amazing potential. Some great vlogs on their channel, so be sure to check it out if you have the time. Link will be in the description below. Destiny 2 Tips and Tricks will drop next Tuesday. And I have a tractor cannon video coming out tomorrow, so be sure to slam that notification bell so you know the minute new videos drop. As always, this is Dead Poodles, and I will talk to you all next time. Ten seconds left.